Indeed. In other news, the West Texas crude or West Texas crude has slipped back below $30 levels just when local players jacked up prompt prices yesterday. We have with us Mark Yu, President and CFO of COL. Hello, Mark. Uh, what is your outlook on the industry and what are you, the insiders, uh, how are you reading the situation right well, now? I, I wouldn't call us insiders. <laughs> the insiders are the one in the Middle East, yeah. but uh, we view it to remain volatile. Um, oil prices, as we just saw, right, went up and then went down again. Um, I think ultimately a lot of the countries in the Middle East the producers are still making money, but the countries are not, right? because they mm -hmm. need the, the revenues from the oil to actually balance their budget. So there will be that pressure uh, for them to try and see maybe do a cut. But again, there is still, uh, from a long-term standpoint, mm -hmm. they want to be able to maintain uh, their market share in oil. So okay, uh, Mark, uh, just before you ask Kintin, of course, we know that you are moving pump prices. This is regulated. Uh, when oil goes up, your prices go up. When oil goes down, your prices go down. How have you adjusted your business model to adapt to this volatility? Well, first of all, it's actually mm -hmm. deregulated. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it, market forces dictate mm -hmm. that if oil prices globally go down, then it also goes down here. So for us, um, since maybe about five years ago, the industry has followed a one-week delay where, for the retail, for commercial, it's pretty much instant. Uh, in that one week delay, the intent is also to reduce that volatility so we're not changing prices every day. Um, so for us, uh, we plan in the sense that our price exposure is only one week. We don't try and um, let's say if we purchase a month ago, uh, if oil prices go down, then our inventory will be low and we'll get hit. Uh, but what we have done is been able to manage that where we negotiate with our partners uh, that the pricing of our fuel, even though it arrived last month, is its price this month, for example. So you're giving a more predictable set of schedules, but as an independent player, how do you see the medium-term outlook for either prices or stability in terms of supply? In terms of prices, we would, again, continue to see it volatile. Um, stability, there is ample supply. Uh, there's a lot of supply, um, so we don't have to worry about that tightening. Um, for us, over the next uh, remainder of the decade, we see ourselves as uh, becoming, uh, in terms of size, uh, at a point where we have an impact uh, to the market. So our goal is really to expand uh, our retail uh, network as well as our terminals. This is obviously not at a sacrifice to your margins, right? I mean, you are able to maintain healthy margins uh, yeah. in spite of all this. Yeah, with our risk management uh, mm -hmm. philosophy, our goal is not to speculate on oil price. So for us, our goal is really just to match world price with the local price and make a fixed spread. So it doesn't matter where oil prices is. We just want to make a fixed spread. And in, in fact, for us, we prefer prices to be low um, mm -hmm. because demand is, is definitely a lot higher. Oil, I mean, oil is very inelastic. Um, so we actually saw a huge growth last year in terms of volume um, because of the lower oil price. Well, let's talk about uh, the industry itself. I mean, as an independent player, you tend to be a little more proactive in terms of innovations, even the rollbacks. Mm -hmm. What is next for sea oil in terms of you expanding your market given, these, uh, th given the low co commodity price environment outlook? For us, we're really heavily reliant on dealers and partners. Um, and what we have been able to come up with is a great product, franchise product, where their investment is below a million and you can already operate uh, and run a station. And for the, in that model as well, we take care of the price risk and the inventory. So they don't need to shell out capital for their inventory, nor have to worry, do I order now because prices are going to go down, I'll lose money, or do I want to stockpile because all prices are going to go up. So I think in terms of uh, taking away that risk from dealers, that's an innovation we're offering to the market that hopefully allows more competition, which will ultimately be beneficial for consumers. All right, looking forward to how this saga unfolds. Thank you very much for joining us. That was Mark Yu, CFO and President yeah. of Sea Oil. Thank you for inviting